What's good Zimbabwe? Hello, what's up or oh, what is good? Welcome back to yet another episode of Rising Stars. Chidong Wachin Yuchepa Moyo bringing you all the best local content from within Zimbabwe right out to the world. I'm your host for today. My name is Nadia MTC and today in the building we have our most vivacious, enthralling lady here. Her name is Angeline Chara, also known in the streets as Pretty the Lady Baba. We're so happy to have you on today's show. Pretty welcome. All right, uh, could you please tell us about yourself? Who is pretty? Indiana knows a pretty. Who is pretty, the lady, Bob? Uh, actually, my name is Angelina Chara. Okay. But in the most current, she's the pretty Baba. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm Katanomiya Msoro. All right. Yeah. Can you tell us more about yourself? Do you have any kids? Yeah. Do you know I have four kids. All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Pretty is a lady barber and not only is she a lady barber but she's also a mom and I think that's a very interesting mixture because you're a lady barber with kids and you're in a male dominated space. So I'm not sure if the same way in a male dominated space and what made you uh, choose to get into a space where there are very few females involved? Mm, I think Pipton Gachakanti inspired to be Team Okay. So my mom never forgot you wish and don't pass on up here, quite even with the Okazano Gate. So the Russian Motor Shaganaka, she didn't cut Zano Gate. Send them which cut Snagamus in the center again to teach him for that session. All right. Um, and what challenges are you facing in your field? Because there are a lot of guys, a lot of men. Do guys also come to you as a lady barber and say, could you please, um, you know, cut my hair or something? Do people trust you as a lady barber? Masema tangra na gai tapio tanga, shayi nits, shara ka uma. Okay. Ah, red mundi waza, oji ya so muti, maria pude ya tuinti. Nuti muna eta ka naga shika, kongo muti ndu lao kilo, so, but ah, Oh. Saka, Mama Shalin is a Nagasanga now. You are a particular one in the Wapu. Tell what she's with somebody, but she's one of the Bora. As Maka overcome, I say, with my money, but it's an incarnate area, not alone, who can't have a former pass. And the Nabu can have a former pass. She's not a GD, she's one of the GD. All right. Okay. So, how did you know, uh, Kutini, you know? This is my calling, this is what the Lord is telling me to do, or this is what I feel deep within me. Inina, I want to be pretty, the lady barber. Inina, I want to be pretty, the lady barber. Inina, I want to be pretty, the lady barber. 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 Okay, wow. Uh, I'm sure you can hear Pretty's voice echoing in the streets of feminism, and she's speaking on the idea of having uh, being a female barber um, in a male dominated space and how she's kept herself strong in order to make it uh, within the particular field and industry. Could you tell us more about your journey? You, so you discover that you, you're good at, you're really good um, at cutting people's hair, you're really good at shaping them and all of that stuff. So what was the next step after that? Uh, from high school, from primary school, what was your journey like uh, till, till, till you get to this particular point that you're oh, at right now? Oh, when I was in school, I was in the 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 school, I was Okay. 
Alright. All right. So, what do you think about my own course? I don't know how to do it. 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 It's a wide uh, spectrum of things, right? So I'm yes. you know, it's a, you only a barber, no one get a sorry chat, I can't see. Panic, you know, I'm not answer with from what you learned. It's like a tea, eh? We close, I mean, um, cosmetology. Alright. You know, Sangan Sela Jesse, Ukanzoro, Pugera, Pujesa, or Cassandra Sam. A Sindaka Zonia, you know, or Rabuti, Kajinji, Pagat Machine. Alright. Honey Bashan is my address. Okay. Whatever I hear this. Okay. <laughs> That's powerful, mm. powerful, powerful. Today's segment seems to be all about female empowerment, feminism, and all of that. This is pretty for you. So she's, an, she's an outstanding female barber based here in Arare. And this is what we have for today. So we'll see you after the break. We still have more questions and we still have more of Pretty, the vivacious, elegant, and um, enthralling lady. It's a girl, Atalia, Deep Rising Stars. So Welcome to this yet another exciting program on Rising Stars at Blessed Media with your host, Father Two Kids. What's good, Zimbabwe? Hello, what's up? Oh, what is good? Welcome back to yet another episode of Rising Stars. Chilong Watching You, Chefamoyo, bringing you all the best local content from within Zimbabwe right out to the world. I'm your host for today. My name is Nadia MTC. Action. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Rising Stars and on today's show we have Angeline Chada, also known in the streets as Pretty the Lady Barber. We're going on with our interview, we're having such a fun time here at Rising Stars. So Pretty, uh, you've told us that you're a barber, you've told us that you studied cosmetology. Because we've spoken about how you're a female barber in a male dominated space. Everyone, what exactly are you doing? And how do you go about it? Because you need to face shape your company, so it's not going to look good. So how do you do it? Um, and you know, what's your criteria in picking to this is what this person should have? Yeah. Uh, you need to get a moon Okay, we are more say pretty the lady barber. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. We are pretty. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. I am very free. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can do anything. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's powerful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to get a haircut, don't get it anywhere else. Get it from Pretty the Lady Barber based here in Arare. Where exactly can they find you? Uh, coming to Roma, okay. All right. Yeah. What's the name of the salon and how did they find you? Uh, beauty Hotspot. Okay. Yes. Okay, so Beauty Hotspot, Kwame Krumah and? Buyaneanda. And Buyaneanda. You can find Pretty over there. All right. So Pretty, how has it been being a barber, uh, being a mother? In being in Zimbabwe's economy, we all know that it's a very parlous economy. It's tattered. It's not looking so good. But Muruto Kwanza Yere, which is a chikaf table for your children. We know you're not a single mom, yes. but you're you're still managing, right? Yes. Okay. Um, the manager, Jesse. Look here, I go. Konya, we go. We manage your mom. 
all right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty the lady Baba for you, but that's not all that we have for today. Uh, pretty to that was the opportunity. Jamuko's one of his years, and it's a pamuri panu. Murguenda kupi. What are your ambitions? What are you seeing for yourself? What would you like to happen to you in the field that you're in? Um, yeah, yeah, I think uh, in any check or check, the Tora Chopard. Full disclosure. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I think you to Chris Brown. Yes. Okay. Zimbabwe. The Chino Gera and not Chris Brown. No, she do not watch him and All right. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, right now in the studio, we have the archetype of a rising star. Pretty is not talking about going to the CBD. You know, she's talking about getting out of Africa, right out to the world, Kuno represent as Zimbabwe. And we think that's so fantastic, especially as, as a lady living in these times where patriarchy is a thing and females or women are trying to, you know, get over that and overcome that, right? So our final question for today, if it's going to be the final question, Pretty is a very interesting uh, interviewee today. So we might go a little bit overboard. But what should change about how people view your industry? hairdressing and cosmetology in a sense, when a certain way I want to view at this thing. They don't really see it as a talent, they don't really see it as a gift, one of which take it for granted. But if you were in charge of the industry in Zimbabwe today, what are the things that you would change? What are the challenges that you're facing from how people view the industry? Mm, I think you know from Okay. 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 So my challenge is that I know Sangana or Kashinji. They put the notary zero pass one. We in terms of financially, the Fonga do you know when the Okay. Eh, Antina Mari, I send you no consumption with Angu Muriam. But yes, I drew good up in the eat than Saturday night. Okay, but you're looking for sponsors for the yes, things that you're doing? Yes. Okay, all okay. right. So if you're out there and you're seeing Pretty the Lady Baba, she has big ideas and big dreams for what she can do in Zimbabwe, particularly within the industry. So if you're out there and you think you can partner with Pretty, please don't forget to just reach out to her. I'm sure she'll leave her number. Uh, it will be on the screen right now and you can get in touch with her. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been Rising Stars brought to you by Blessed Media. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. We're having a blast here and we'll see you next time. I've been your host for today. My name is Nadia MTC.
Thank you.